Welcome back, this is episode number 6 of this tutorial series slash crash course on ROS Noetic. You can find the series playlist in the description. And let's get started. So in this tutorial, the goal will be to understand what are ROS topics. So for now, we've used some nodes and you have seen that actually some nodes are able to talk between each other. So they can communicate and they can exchange some information. So let's start again the nodes that we have started at the beginning. So I'm going to start a ROS master now because you know that you have to start a ROS master before you can start any node. And I'm going to start, so ROS run, let's go back to ROS by tutorials and let's start the talker node. So the talker node is a node that's going to uh, print something and it's also going to send this data to another node and this node is, so ROS run, uh, Rospy tutorials with listener. Okay, the listener is receiving data from the talker node. So how do we know that? If we go back to RQT graph here, well, you can see that this node is sending data to that node through the chatter topic. Actually, let's come back a second to the terminal. And let's try to use some new command line tools to kind of know what is being sent to where, etc. So you can use a command named ROS topic list. So we used before ROS node list. Here you can use ROS topic list. Okay, so the command lines are very simple. ROS and then the name of the concept and then the name of the functionality you want to use. So here we want to list all ROS topics. And you can see we have stuff with ROS out, which are for debugging. And we have here a chatter topic. So if now we do ROS topic info slash chatter, you can use auto completion, you will see we have the type. Okay, so the type is basically the kind of data that is sent on the topic. And then we have the list of publishers and list of subscribers. Okay, so you can see that for a given topic, so a topic is just going to be a name in the ROS graph. You can have some nodes that are publishing, so sending data to that topic, and some nodes that are subscribing or just receiving data from that topic. And if it happens that one node is publishing and one node is subscribing to the topic, well, it's just like if the publisher node was sending data to the subscriber node, but through the topic. And the type is std messages here, string. So what is this? You can do ROS msg show and then the type. So just copy the type here. And you can see this message contains string data. So this is the data type string and this is the name of the field so we have a data field with a string data type and that's what's being sent here okay this is a string hello world with a timestamp and this one receives hello world with the timestamps so that's exactly what's being sent and if you want to so let's do clear here if you want to check what is being sent on a topic you can also do ross topic echo and then the name of the topic here, chatter. And you can see we receive, so data, that's the field, with the string, okay? So let's say we don't have the listener running, we just have the talker running, then we can just debug and easily see what's being sent on the topic. Now, if I kill the talker node, you can see we don't receive anything. We are still listening, but we don't receive anything. If I start talker, we can receive some data, okay? And let's uh, go back here. Let's start the two nodes again. And let's come back to RQT graph. Okay, let's put full screen. And here, well, make sure you select nodes, topics, all, and put the group to zero, and you should see that. So you have this node, which is sending data to the chatter topic. Okay, that's gonna be a square. And this node, which is subscribing, okay, from the chatter. And so by doing this, 
the data is going to flow from this node to that node. All right, so as you can see, topics are a way to communicate between nodes and you can send what we're going to call a data stream. So some data is going to be published from the publisher here, it's going to arrive to the topic and basically this, because it's subscribing, is going to receive any data that is published on the topic. And you could have different nodes sending data to Chatter. In this case, this node listener would receive all the different messages that are being sent. You can also have different subscribers. And if you have different subscribers, all subscribers are going to receive all messages published to the topic. Okay, now let's close that. Let's kill this and let's use another example. Okay, let's do clear here again. Let's come back to our turtle sim. Let's do ross run turtle sim. Let's run turtle sim node. So we can have the robot here in the graphical interface. And then here I'm going to do ross run um, turtle sim again. And there is a node called, so an executable called draw square. And this is going to send some data so that the turtle here can actually draw a square. Okay, as you can see, it's moving and drawing a square. So I'm going to leave it just a second to see the square finished. Okay, and then it's going to start again. So it's going to, as you can see, send some different goals, etc. So if I do RQT graph and okay, make sure you have nodes topics and also group zero. If you have group one, you're going to see something like this, but I find it uh, easier to understand with group zero here. So we have a turtle sim node that is responsible for the turtle on the graphical interface. We have a draw square node that's going to basically control this node. So it's going to send some comments and it's going to also listen to the current position of the robot. And so here we have, as you can see, three different topics. Turtle 1 color sensor, Turtle 1 pose and Turtle 1 command velocity. So this topic here, well, the turtle sim is going to send data to the topic, but no one is subscribing. So nothing is going to happen with that. Now with the pose, you can see that turtle sim is going to send messages to the turtle one pose topic and the draw square is going to listen to this. This actually contains the current position and orientation of the turtle. So with this topic, this node can actually send its position to this node. And then this node is going to publish on the turtle one common velocity topic and the turtle sim is a subscriber to this topic. So it's going to receive new comments from the draw square node. And as you can see here, we have a closed loop control. And so let's come back to the terminal. We can do ROS topic list and we are going to find here the three topics okay, that we have seen before. We can do ROS topic, let's say info with turtle one. Um, pause and see that the type of the message is that one and we have a publisher and we have a subscriber those are the nodes okay publisher node subscriber node if i do ross msg show i'm gonna show what's inside this message and you can see we have here we have five fields which are float number we have x, y, theta, so this is the uh, coordinates. And then we have the linear velocity and the angular velocity, so the current velocity of the turtle. And if we do ROS topic echo with turtle one and pose, we can see in kind of in real time what is being published on this topic. You can see we have many messages at a very high frequency. Okay, so if we come back here, you can see this is actually the coordinates of the turtle. So the X, Y and theta are moving. So we're going to come back to this turtle 
a bit later and we are gonna use actually those topics. And so with those two examples, you can see that topics are a way to communicate between different nodes in your ROS application. Nodes actually don't directly talk to each other. They just publish or subscribe to a topic. You can have multiple nodes publishing on the same topic and you can have multiple nodes subscribing to the same topic. Also, this mechanism is anonymous, which means that, for example, if a node is subscribing to a topic, it's just going to receive the messages from that topic. It doesn't know which node is publishing them. All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full course named ROS for Beginners. This course contains six hours of content and will teach you everything you need to create complete ROS applications. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.